Okay, in this video, we're going to solve this problem right here, and so let's begin. So what I like to first do is just try plug in. If I plug in a 5 here, I get 1 divided by 5 minus 5 is 0. And that's a big red flag that you have to approach this problem differently. And so what we have to do is look at 5 to the left and to the right. So we'll say, what is the limit as x approaches 5 to the left for this? So we can rewrite it as 1 divided by x minus 5. And what is it equal to? Then we have to do the other piece, the limit as x approaches 5 to the right for the same problem, 1 divided by x minus 5. Now, if they equal the same thing, then we can have a conclusion. Now, if they equal something different, then we'll say the limit does not exist. So 5 to the left, that's like 4 point a bunch of 9 repeating. Because if you draw a number line, 5 is right here. To the left is like 4 point a bunch of 9s. And to the right is 5 point a bunch of zeros 1. So let's try it to see what this looks like. So we have 1 divided by 4.99, a bunch of 9s, minus 5. And what is this going to equal? So we'll get 1 divided by. So 5 is bigger than 4.99 repeating. So what we're going to get is a very small negative number. Now, it'll be so small, it's infinitesimally small. And this is going to equal 1 divided by a very, very small negative number is going to give you negative infinity. But we also have to try this piece, so we'll do the same thing. And so we're going to get 1 divided by 5 point a bunch of zeros, 1 minus 5. Now 5 point a bunch of zeros, 1 is larger than 5. And so what we're going to get is 1 divided by a positive, very small, um, positive number. Likewise, again, it's infinitesimally small. And so 1 divided by a very small number is going to give us positive infinity. Because this side gives you negative infinity, this side gives you positive infinity, your conclusion is that the limit does not exist. So you can say, does not um, exist. And that's pretty much it for this video.